back uh, students to uh, Let's Draw. Um, today we are going to draw uh, probably uh, my most, I would say my most missed pet. Uh, I had uh, a husky, um, Tala was her name, for about 11 years and um, and uh, she was a great dog and uh, she would love today because um, as you can see it's snowing perfect weather for huskies they love this kind of weather and um, you know as you know they're they're mainly uh, work dogs they're sled dogs so they like to work hard and uh, this weather absolutely perfect for them um, this is a picture of uh, Tala and I. We used to fish together quite a bit. And uh, when she would, uh, um, when a fish would jump, her ears would perk up and then she would point in that direction. I knew where uh, to, uh, to cast my fly, like where to place it because uh, she would hear things that I couldn't hear. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna draw the, uh, the husky today. Now, um, if you're using a sketchbook or paper, I'm going to ask that you turn it this way from landscape to portrait. So it's going to be up and down. Some of you would call this vertical. Or if you are one of my younger students, you would say this is hamburger style. Okay, I'm going to begin by uh, by drawing kind of a oval or round shape here. I'm going to start with a circle. Start with a circle. And then I'm going to do kind of two triangles. Like this. And then I'm going to draw I'm going to kind of start like this I'm going to try and draw a teardrop. Over on this side. I'm going to draw another circle right here. See how that's looking. Uh, yep. And then, I see some other shapes in the, uh, kind of a leaf shape in here. I think there's going to be some shading in there, like that. And I think his her uh, sassy's a girl. Her markings are gonna go like that. They've got very thick necks and uh, they need a real thick neck because they pull. If you've ever had a husky, you know that uh, 
taking it for a walk, you have to be up for it and you have to be strong because they will pull you uh, right over. They're so, so strong. The other thing is too is I wouldn't recommend getting a husky if you live in a hot place or you're you're living in an apartment or something. Um, they really need a lot of space. You have to walk them a few kilometers a day, probably four kilometers or a couple miles a day um, so that they're happy. Kind of color that nose in. And uh, yeah, you want to be really I'm going to do another circle here. Another circle here. Now this is kind of tough because uh, Sassy has two colored eyes. She has a brown eye over here and a blue eye over here. But just for artistic sake, I think I'm going to make them close to the same color, kind of brownish like Tala was. Because um, uh, having two colored eyes is better in a uh, color picture than a black and white. Makes more sense. It's kind of this dog kind of reminds me of a singer named David Bowie. He had two different colored eyes. He had a blue eye and a brown eye, just like this. It's too bad he wasn't around. I'd have him. Uh, I'd ask him if he could do a. Uh, a song for our Let's Draw video, he could do like, instead of Let's Dance, he could say, Let's draw to the sounds of playing on the radio. Something like that. I like to sing sometimes, sorry. Anyway, just keep going with this shading. It was nice to uh, visit uh, to visit Sassy. She reminds me of Tala. I've been thinking about Tala a lot. She was just such a wonderful, wonderful dog. But she got into a lot of mischief. Um, for example, I, I built probably about three, four, maybe five different fences and gates. And she destroyed every single one of them because she was bored. You don't want a bored husky. And I'd come home after work and she would be sitting there smiling outside the gate. Yeah, I think huskies smile. This one, I'm gonna make this husky look like it's smiling. I'm just gonna erase those circular lines. I, can, I call them construction lines because they're like a blueprint of the house. You, you want to cover your tracks. And have a sip of tea here. We're in no hurry. I think a lot of you, like me, you have a lot of time on your hands right now. This is a good time to become an artist or musician or study for something whatever you want to do because uh we've all got a lot of time a lot of time right now okay so i'm just gonna shade i like to shade kind of to pick up the pen or to pick up uh, the uh, grain of the paper I'm not a big uh, into smudging like with the with the Kleenex or whatever. I just like to uh, let that grain of the the paper to show. And you can thank the trees for providing your paper and your pencil, which is made out of wood. And also, if you're using charcoal. You could thank, thank the trees for providing you with the, um, the charcoal or the pencil lead. I'm not quite sure what graphite is made out of, actually, if it's made out of 
burnt wood or what it's made out of? It's a good question. Now, uh, Sassy's got a lot of white on her face. So, um, what I like to do, and what I'm going to do to uh, to kind of show that off, is I'm going to shade to the edge. I saw some of uh, my students were doing this, giving it a background, because you know what? Nothing that you draw from life, very few things have have um, are outlined you know that's more for drawing cartoons and uh, that's a different lesson I used to uh, when I was a teenager I was gonna I was set on being a cartoonist that's what I wanted to do but that's a different way of drawing I practice something called cross hatching you can see that I'm practice with the lines like that that's something I noticed the artist I really liked named uh, Edgar Dega he liked to uh, put a lot of lines like that drawing lines you might practice your cross hatching Yeah, like I say, Tala used to be an escape artist. She used to love, uh, uh, I spent hours fixing that gate, even metal gates. Even if it was metal, she would uh, manage to find a way to uh, pull apart metal. Didn't matter. She didn't really care if she broke her teeth doing it either. She just, she liked the challenge of uh, whatever fence, how high I was going to build it or whatever. She just watched me and then by the time I got home she had figured it out like Houdini that's what her name should have been Don't think about uh, fur texture or doing the eyes, whatever you're working on. Just try and treat it as tone, like a shade of gray, and uh, look at the, um, the proportions, look at the shapes of things, and treat everything the same. Whether you're drawing a rock or you're drawing a person, um, whatever you're drawing. I don't know if I'll put her harness or collar on here. Probably not. It it doesn't look natural, so I want to draw kind of a wild husky. This husky is pretty wild, actually. Like I say, they were bred to be a work dog. They want to pull. They want to pull sleds. Oh, I also wanted to say uh, that uh, that uh, I know I've done this primarily for my students in Kaylee and Blackie, and uh, I wanted to say to Abby in kindergarten, you did an amazing cat drawing. It was just fantastic, like a kindergarten. If we get a chance, I'll show you at the end of this episode so good and then Hudson in grade three also at Blackie he did a fantastic eagle when I did the eagle drawings and I just started doing these YouTube videos uh, or drawing videos a couple weeks ago and already people are around the world are watching them and uh, I wanted to say hi to uh, the students in uh, Finland that have been uh, doing my drawing videos already and I think the teacher's name there is Marie uh, Johanna Kettinen. Hi Marie and uh, your kids are just doing amazing work. You did an amazing cat drawing 
and I hope that you like doing this one too. And uh, my wife and I decided we're going to come and see you after this virus has passed. We're going to come and see uh, your students in your school. And I have uh, relatives in Finland and that I've always wanted to go and meet. So that's going to be wonderful. And we're going to have a good visit. Also, I like the education system over there. I think that focusing on the joy of learning is the most important way to learn. Sometimes we get too, too wrapped up in marks and this and that, and we're not having fun learning, and we should be having fun. And for me, drawing is just great. Drawing's fun. Always. They got kind of a uh, freckles and whiskers. And we have a sip of tea here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep, keep drawing here. I just took a moment to see um, a picture of uh, my husky Tala and her markings, which are a little bit different than uh, sassy in that they come right over here. Tala was a very beautiful dog. She was considered um, by a local movie company and um, they came to see her and see if she would be in a, uh, one of those uh, sled dog movies. I don't know if it was Disney or what it was, but you know, they'd heard about Tala and you know, she was a beautiful husky and whatnot, but then they came and the animal trainer came and uh, she got her to do a few things and she said, you know what, you have a very pretty dog, but you can tell that she just cares about the food, which was really funny because it was true. She was uh, most interested in food, I think, like lots of us are. So, so yeah, that was, she didn't have a movie career, but who knows, maybe this uh, drawing will, will go all over the place and she will get her, uh, 15 minutes of fame. They have very, uh, huskies like, especially the black and white ones, they have very dramatic features and, uh, you can really see their emotions. I could always tell when Tala was sad or happy. I could literally see her smile. Or if she was sad, you could see that too. I don't think maybe it's, it's not possible to to love too many things more than your pet because your pet just wants to be loved and it just wants to be fed and wants you to walk it and play and uh, I don't think I ever met a judgy pet well I don't think I ever met a judgy baby either but maybe one time we're going to draw a baby that'll be interesting babies are are quite difficult to draw. 
even the old masters couldn't uh, they didn't draw very or paint very um, babies very well I went to Rome or um, Italy and saw the great masters paintings and I didn't see too many good babies I think Michelangelo painted some good ones but most of them looked kind of strange okay You know, you feel, I feel a little bit like a machine when I'm doing this shading or a 3D printer or something. But I find the more, the more you look at, the more you, the more you do, that it's, uh, you're going to have a good result. And again, don't compare yourself to me when you're drawing or anybody. You're, you're having fun and it's just such a relaxing, great thing to do. You'll forget all about your problems and uh, we all have them. Especially right uh, now with this uh, virus, it uh, can be very scary. So we'll take a few minutes and we won't think about it. We'll just draw and you'll feel better. It's also important to not only draw all the time, but I also go on for long walks these days in nature. And I'm doing some yoga on the internet there, and that helps a lot. And then you have time now to cook yourself some nutritious food, some good food. Remember, I know that some of you have got a lot of fancy pencils and whatnot, but I want you to get as uh, good as you can just with one of these pencils you can get a lot of at the dollar store. This is all you need to begin with. And then when you do have the good equipment and whatnot, then you'll even be better. I think I heard some, somewhere that it took about 10,000 hours to become really good at something. I think that's probably true, to become really good at something. But chances are, if you like doing this, or you like doing something, that you will put in that time because it won't feel like work to you. It feels like something that you would just do anyway. Oh yeah, my mom told me, she said, uh, I know why you got why you wanted a husky so much and the reason was that um, when I was a kid I used to watch a show get up early and watch a show called uh, The Littlest Hobo. Now The Littlest Hobo was they went through a lot of different dogs on that show they used a lot of different dogs but um, a couple times they used a, uh, a husky and um, you know, the littlest hobo would always so so solve crimes. It was such a smart dog. Of course, it was fictional. It wasn't real, but uh, he was a crime-solving dog. My dog didn't solve any crimes. Tala didn't solve one crime. Sad to say. She did escape from the yard quite a few times, but she didn't solve any crimes, but... She was wonderful to uh, bring fishing. A 
course, once I had a fish and I brought it onto the bank, she just wanted to play with the fish. And, uh, but she would never eat the fish. Because I release most of the fish that I catch anyway. Okay, this this husky is going to be darker than sassy because I'm trying to make it look more like Tala had a very black back. Oh, the other thing is, wow, do huskies ever shed? Sometimes you'll be walking along a dog path and you'll see a bunch of fur laying there. It's probably a husky, husky fur. When they're in, shed their coat or blow their coat, wow, look out. Now, uh, my dog never, Tala never pulled a sled. She pulled me on a skateboard once. That was interesting. She went so, so fast that I had to jump off along the back path there. <clears throat> Again, I'm not, uh, like other artists' videos, I'm not speeding it up for you because uh, I like you to see everything that I do so that you don't go, well, well, when did that happen or how did that happen? I want you to see the whole thing that I'm drawing. Then you know how long it takes. And the other thing is you can always pause the video. You don't have to do it all at once. I'm doing it all at once because I'm using natural light today. I'm by a window in my um, studio room and um, the light's going down and it's getting dark out. So I wanna make sure that I've got this mostly done in the same light. We've got two pencils. Maybe it's a good idea to have one by you and sharpen it when you can. Or have two on hand. Again, I'm trying to remember Tala's markings. And pretending in my mind she's standing right here so that I can remember what she looked like. Now I'm starting to do the fur in a certain direction. She had a very white chest.
kind of a combination of both uh, my dog, Sassy and, uh, and Tala. I'm just going to add a few uh, whiskers in here. And I'm going to sign it. I think uh, the date is April 7th, so I'm going to put 07, February, March, April, 04, and it's 2020. And rather than put Tala or Sassy, I'm just going to put Husky. And I'll just sign my name here and you can get in the habit of doing this too.